For the past three years, Plan and the Global Media Campaign have been backing a media movement that is sweeping Mali and Guinea. Des mutilations génitales féminines. L'excision est perçue. With religious leaders speaking out on primetime TV for the first time, this has been a highly successful media campaign. La déclaration des imams à la première chaîne du Mali dire que l'excision n'est pas une obligation à religion musulmane, ça c'est une grande satisfaction. With 198 separate campaigns driven by over 100 activists, this is the most intense media rollout against FGM ever seen in West Africa. The movement is based on empowering frontline media activists to lead the fight. The process is as transparent as it is simple. Activists devise their media campaigns and submit their proposals to GMC and plan via WhatsApp. The grants they receive pay for airtime and the activists show accounts for everything they do. Mais la confiance que GMC a placée aux gens, c'est inédit. Ils sont motivés, ils ont confiance. Donc, pour ça, chapeau. Media in Africa is inexpensive and has proven highly effective in fighting FGM. It's the activists who determine the content of their media. They use their own words and speak in their own language. The golden key in Mali and Guinea is convincing highly influential religious leaders to go on the media and condemn FGM. As with every other country, the best way to convert people is to show them the reality of the practice. Their reaction to the truth is always one of profound shock. Now there are over a hundred planned GMC activists across Guinea and Mali. By Christmas 2020, they had generated over 113 million views and listens in cities, villages and IDP camps. Media activists are going from strength to strength. Our most recent impact studies in Kenya show that following intense media campaigns, the rates of the worst forms of FGM fell from 51% to 9% in just two years. And now, with additional support from UNFPA, our aim to end FGM by 2030 will be a hard-won reality.